Hey folks here OS Reviews. Today you're watching our video review of the Eneloop Rechargeable Lithium Iron Battery. Compared to other rechargeable batteries out there, this one has one of the most unique designs that I've come across in a long time. So instead of being just a rechargeable battery, it also comes with adapters. For example, a C-sized adapter and also a larger D-sized adapter that you typically find on lanterns, radios, and more utility-heavy products. And they require some pretty expensive batteries if you want to go out and separately purchase them. But this one allows, to, allows you to plot in the AA battery and you you can recharge uh, the standard AA battery over and over again. And so this entire kit is really interesting and allows you to kind of transform the battery uh, from one size to another, something again that we haven't seen before. With that being said, the Eneloop batteries are retail for about $25 for a set of four uh, for the AA set, and they also range for about $25 for the AAA, which we will show you later on. The AA batteries have a 2000 milliamp hour capacity, which is about average, and you can get about 60%, I guess, uh, 60 to 70% of a actual uh, one-time use AA battery. So of course performance isn't as strong, but then but then again you can recharge this over and over again. The battery itself is produced by Japanese manufacturer Sanyo, which also produces some appliances and also smartphones here in the United States. So it's a well-known company in that sense. Uh, taking a look, you get a pack of four again uh, in a kit. So you don't get just one of them. You have four of them that you can actually use uh, and you can basically charge them using any standard rechargeable uh, battery charger, although it comes with one. You can also use this Energizer one, of course, just plug it into the wall. Recharging these batteries takes about five to six hours to complete. And then again, performance is pretty good. It retains the juice if you don't use it for a while, relatively well uh, as well. So taking a look at how the adaption process actually works, we have the size battery over here. As you can see, we just plug in the head into the battery like so, and then it basically stays in. It actually stays in surprisingly well. When you want to take it out, I just push it out, and the battery can be uh, removed from the adapter. Now, one of the downsides of using one of these adapters is, of course, you don't get as much juice as a traditional D-cell battery. So I'm using basically a, a AA size battery into a larger battery. Uh, but of course, you can recharge this over and over again. So it might not be such a poor choice if you do have a lantern or something that you plan on using over the years, and you don't want to waste uh, money by going out and purchasing single-time use batteries that you know will be sitting around in your lantern anyways. So it's a good uh, option to go with if you want to save money in the long road or in the long term. And the same thing can be said about the C-sized one, but interestingly, the C one actually doesn't have any adapter tips. So we basically just rely on the size of the battery as it is, and that plugs into the other side, the contact goes onto the other end, and you're ready to go. This one just basically pops out like so, and it's also a pretty tight fitting design. It's pretty easy to put in there and pop out. Uh, so it's a nicely kind of designed uh, product in general, I say, from the manufacturer, something that we do like. Uh, like I told, like I uh, mentioned early on, there's also AA sized adapters that you can purchase. So these are the smaller sized HRO3 size uh, batteries. These offer about um, 800, 800 milliamp hours. So they're considerably less than the 2000 milliamp hours, uh, but they are AAA sized, which will fit into smaller appliances and devices. There are also adapters available for these, although the performance of course is gonna be far worse than the AA sized batteries. So I would say that if you are looking for that conversion factor, the AA batteries and they conversion kit are uh, is actually the smartest choice, although just know that Eneloop also sells other variants of the rechargeable battery. Overall, I would say that the Eneloop design is very clever and it's something, again, I haven't seen before. Even though performance isn't the best in the world, I would still say that these are a interesting twist on the traditional rechargeable battery. And if you do want a conversion kit, if you plan on using uh, a C size or a D size battery a lot, but you also want a AA size rechargeable battery, these are a good option to go with. You can check out more details about this on a company's website and also in our post on our website. Uh, but this has been our video first look. Thank you for watching.